I am Nessa Barrett and I am from New Jersey. My younger years, I was very influenced by the music that my parents used to listen to. So, I mean, like, my mom loved, like, Lauryn Hill and Adele and The Weeknd. And I just, like, love everything. And I loved Five Seconds of Summer. Uh, when I was in middle school, that was, like, my little thing. If you saw my old Instagram, it almost looks like a fan page. Oh, Lady Gaga, huge inspiration. Really kind of taught me to just, like, be myself. You know, um, especially growing up in New Jersey, it's like you feel like you can't be yourself. You have to be like a clone to everyone else in that small state. I was in a studio for the first time at the age of four uh, because my dad um, was very into music um, and, you know, rapping and producing. Um, so seeing my dad and then other people come in to work with him, you know, I was constantly surrounded by music itself and so I don't know I just remember like writing songs constantly in school and getting in trouble because I wasn't you know taking my notes I'm just too busy writing lyrics um, and I would rush home from school and use the studio before my dad got home from work uh, I learned how to like record like my own vocals and like make everything myself for the longest time everyone would say that my voice was unique you know, that was the only word that I would hear. You know, I would, I would like, <laughs> like perform for my parents and they're like, wow, you sound so unique. And like, as like a girl that like got bullied, like that's not a good word. Like I was like, okay, they're just trying to be nice, you know? Um, so I guess like I never really thought that I could do it, but it was like my biggest dream of all time. And then, uh, I mean, as soon as I started really posting my singing, uh, I saw the really good comments and like feedback. I think that's when I was like, okay, maybe I wasn't like crazy. <laughs> I've been writing depressing music since I was like six. Really, I mean like it varies. It's either like I like a boy and I'm writing about it or I got in trouble from my parents and now I want to die. You know, it's just like that um, stuff. But I think as I got older um, and really like understood my emotions thankfully to therapy um, but that's when I was able to actually like write for myself in a way that like actually made sense and benefited me I have really bad like identity issues I don't really know myself and but the one thing that I know the most is you know how I feel um, I struggle with BPD and like my mental health has been like a really big priority for me uh, since I was young um, so being honest with myself and vulnerable I think is really easy for me because you know I used to be that kid that like wouldn't tell a soul if I was hurt um, and it would, you know, hurt me even more because I wasn't getting the help that I needed. And now I'm using music to, you know, let everything out and um, it's just the best thing in the world. <laughs> it really is like a big healer for people. I'm just really growing right now and I feel like I've been like the most creative in a long time. And honestly, too, I feel like I've gotten a little bit more confident. So four years ago, I never would have thought that I would be sitting in this chair right now doing this interview, but I am. And um, I'm just so happy that uh, the moments where I really felt like I couldn't do it anymore, um, I kept going. I don't, I don't know what the future holds, but if it does hold everything that's in my wildest dreams, then I know I have to really appreciate what I have going on right now. But <laughs> I mean, like, it would be cool if I, like, sold out a show somewhere. I still just don't understand, like, how people, like, like me. <laughs> that's the big, that's the biggest thing. I'm like, how would anyone, like, even want to 
buy tickets to see me because like I used to be that person, you know, to see like my favorite artists. But for me, I was like, I don't know. It, it kind of like creeps me out and like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't feel like life is real, but um, it's exciting and very cool. <laughs>